What is going on my crew members? We're going to be talking about the new little Hulu film No One Will Save You. This film stars Kaylin Deaver as an exiled anxiety ridden homebody who must battle an alien who found her way into her home. This film is written and directed by Brian Duffield who wrote The Babysitter and Love and Monster, two movies that I absolutely adored. And I didn't watch any trailers for this movie. I didn't really know anything about it. I am going into this movie as blindly as I possibly can. And I will absolutely adore Kaylin Deaver. I think that she has grown into her own. I really adored her in Booksmart. The first time that I saw her was in Bad Teacher with Cameron Diaz. And over the past couple of years, she has really found her own footing. And she has shown that she is able to carry a film. And with no one that will save you, this movie is resting on her shoulders. Because this movie is told from her point of view. We see the world through her eyes and how she reacts to everything. And when aliens come to her house, she has to find a way of navigating this by herself. The gimmick for this movie is that there is no dialogue in this movie. And that's going to break some people because some people may not be a fan of gimmicks. I really enjoy it when they do something like this. I really love the one-shot style gimmick where there is no sense of dialogue. And for some people, that's going to be the make or break point. But I think it was used to its great effect. I really love that we have Kaylin Deaver who is supposed to be emoting her emotions throughout the entire film and there are points where it gets a little bit tiring. There's a point where she's on the bus and she's getting attacked and nobody is reacting. They're just reacting with their facial expressions and for me personally, I would be saying some things. I would be saying some things and I would be screaming my ass off. And there are points like that where it kind of stretches it a little bit. But this is a 90 minute movie so it moves at a really nice pace. There are themes in this movie that are really well explored. That really doesn't get dived into as much as I thought it would have. But you kind of get the gist of what's actually going on. And I think there are a lot of things in this movie that made this movie work. For me personally, this was a fun and tense movie. Because really you're just relying on Killing Deaver's performance in this movie. You're supposed to be buying into her fears the way that she's supposed to be reacting to everything that is going on around her but i think if you're looking for a fun little home invasion thriller that offers something new i think no one will save you will be a fun movie for you to check out because there are a lot of tense moments in this movie and just the way that the aliens are designed the way that they look the way that they communicate i think worked very well Overall, I'm going to go ahead and give No One Will Save You a 7 out of 10. This movie was a fun little entertaining movie that offered something new but also offered something that we had already seen before and I think it works to its great effect but there are some moments here and there where it stretches the concept a little bit too long and it just started to get a little bit stale for me. But those are my thoughts on No One Will Save You. Have you guys checked it out and are you a big fan of this film? Go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comments below. And also let me know, what is your favorite home invasion film?